Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you from the house of the Lord. God is the Lord and he has given us light. Bind the sacrifice with cords to the horns of the altar. Alleluia. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, our Lord, God and Savior, King of us all, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, to whom is glory forever and ever. Amen. Then six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany where Lazarus, who had been dead, whom he had raised from the dead, there they made for him a supper. And Martha served, but Lazarus was one of those who sat at the table with him. Then Mary took a pound of very costly oil of spikenard and went to the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. But one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, who would also betray him, said to him, Why was this fragrant oil not sold for 300 denarii and given to the poor? This he said, not because he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief and had the money uh, and had the money box, and he used to take what was put in it. But Jesus said, let her alone. She has kept this for the day of my burial. For the poor you have with you always, but me you do not have always. Now a great many of the Jews knew that he was there, and they came not for Jesus, but that they might also see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. But the chief priest plotted, plotted to put Lazarus to death also, because on account of him, many of the Jews went away and believed in Jesus. Glory be to God for Let us those who have been choice. O Master, Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son and the Logos of God the Father, who has broken every bond of our sins through his saving life-giving suffering, who breathed into the face of his sainted disciples and holy apostles, said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they're forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they retain. Now also our master, you have given grace to your holy apostles, to those who are time laboring priests in the holy church, to forgive sin upon earth and to bind and loose every bond of iniquity. Now also we ask that you goodness and love of mankind for your servants, my reverend father, my fathers, my brethren, my weakness, those who bow their heads before your holy glory, dispense to us your mercy. And lose every bond of our sins. And if you have committed any sin against you, knowing you are unknowingly through anguish of heart, 
whether indeed or whether of some faint heartedness or master who knows the weakness of man as a good one and lover of mankind. God grant us the forgiveness of sins, bless us, purify us, absolve us, and all your people, fill us with your fear, straighten us with your holy goodwill, for you are our God and the glory, the honor, the meaning, the worship are given to you, the good Father, the Holy Spirit, the life giver is in one essence with you now, all times along to the age of all ages. Amen. راحي وتأل لي سيون المدينة قديلي وتأل لنا دواد ملك كياتي راكبا على كحش وتسبح قدام الأطفال قائلين وصلنا في الأعلي هذا هو ملك إسرائيل ذو كسابة ريكا كي أرجب نفماتي فلما جاء ربنا يسوع المسيح إلى مدينة أرشاليم لكملت كتب الأنبياء المختارين حملت أطفال صعبا قائلين وصلنا في الأعلي هذا هو ملك إسرائيل كاني كاي كيستوسيون أستوني Some spread their garments on the way before and they will talk thereupon Jesus for of Nazareth and the cherubim and the children proclaim saying was a nine dies this is the king of Israel Kenin إن إيزم كامل اليوم النبوة والعظيمة من أفوال الأطفال الصغار أعدت سبحا والأطفال بيصرخون قائل أوصنا في الأعالي وهذا هو ملك إسرائيل كيني كيائي كيستوسيون أستوني Therefore, David said in the book of the Son, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord our God. And the children proclaimed, saying, O Zanna and the highest, this is the King of Israel. Therefore, the opposing Jews were filled with great envy and said to the Lord Jesus, Let them stop from this proclamation. And the young children saying, O Zananda, yes, this is the king of Israel. Kenny, 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 so Tim Mono one I know and Kia Lay, so and Kia Lay. Christos Ben Noti, O King of Peace, settle upon us your peace. Bestow upon us your peace and forgive us our sins. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord, make us worthy to pray thankfully. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done on earth as it's in heaven. Give us as we forgive those trespass against us and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. O Lord, for thine, the kingdom, the power, the glory for us. Now, the love of God the Father, the grace of His only begotten Son, our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, the gift and the communion of the Holy Spirit may be with you all. Amen. هيبقى فيه تعليم لل... للأطفال عشان يعملوا الخوص يتعلموا الخوص في حد من الخادمات هنا مسؤول عن الموضوع ده أربع فصول أربع فصول هتلاقوا فيه آ... يتفضلوا الأطفال مع تسوني ميرا ورا علشان يتعلموا يعملوا الخوص. Everyone else تفضلوا ارتاحوا علشان نسمع كلمة المنفعة. تفضلوا ارتاحوا. تفضلوا ارتاحوا. Middle and high schools should stay with their parents, please. Middle and high school should stay.
تفضلوا ارتاحوا عشان نبتدي الوعظ الاطفال يتفضلوا ميدل اند هاي سكول ويل ستي هدوء بقى في الكنيسة لو سمحتوا هدوء في الكنيسة نقول مع بعض الجالس فوق الشيروبين اليوم ظهر في أوروشا ركبان على دهش مجد عظيم وحول طقوس بأنجلوس اليوم تم تلاقوى من النبوات بسم الله والابن والروح القدس الاله الواحد امين. Today we're gonna talk about we at the beginning of the Holy Week. We're gonna talk about He took what is ours and gave us what is his. This statement we, or this prayer we prayed on the Friday, so it's okay, refrain, which was, we repeated, um, that he took what is ours and gave us what is his. This is the topic for today and the beginning of the uh, Holy Week. Before we... Um, بالعربي النهاردة عشان أول يوم في أسبوع الألام هنتكلم على أن ربنا أخذ He took was ours means هو أخذ الذي لنا وعطانا الذي له ودي موجودة في سوتوكيت معلش في حد بلوكينج الدرايف واي بتاع الكنيسه كله ففي ناس عايزه تنصرف اللي بلوكينج درايف واي بتاع الكنيسه يطلع سيوتو اوتوكيت الجمعه القرار بتاعها اول حاجه هنبتدي نتكلم عليها قبل ما نتكلم عن اسبوع الالام نعمل وي جونا دو ريفيو اوفر كويكلي Over the Holy uh, Lent, so the Holy Lent. Abuna, look, shared this with, uh, before. This is um, we split the Holy Lent. We we have eight weeks. The first four weeks, as you see, it's all about on the left side our struggle. El hawa al awl arba asami an el jihad bitana. With the last three weeks before the Holy Week, it's about the fruits of the struggle or. اللي هي السمار الستراجل بتاعتنا فأول حاجة في الأول أربع سبيع we seek the kingdom بحثنا عن ملكوت السماوات التمتيشن بتاع our Lord Jesus Christ or the التجربة عجبل the prodigal son and uh, also and we, we, we reach the middle of the land which is the Samaritan woman اللي هي المرأة السامرية كل ده الستراجل او الجهاد بتاعنا احنا ك في الحياه الروحيه بعد كده بقى الفروتس وي جونا سي ذا فروتس ذا بارايز مان هي جات هيلينج ذن ذا فولوين ويك واز ذا بابتيزم واز ذا انلايتمنت وي كانوت سي وي كان سي ناو ذا لاست وان اور يسترداي واز ذا اند اوف ذا جريت لانت يسترداي وي اندد ويز Something important. We ended with the auction of the sick, 
auction of the sick or the sacrament of auction of sick. Why we do that? Because we know the auction of sick for if there's sick people at home and or in the hospital, Abuna go and, and on anointment with oil. But we do here the church because we are sick spiritually. So we have, we, we passed all of this. We, we struggled. Part, important part of the fruit is the healing. We need the healing. That's why we need the unction of sick. And I think Abuna in the unction of sick, um, like he, when he prays, he focus on the spiritual. And you know, like we ask God for heal, spiritual healing, but for the physical healing, we ask God to show his well, we ask God if possible to heal the physical. So our focus, unction of sick, about the spiritual healing. الخمس <laughs> البارت امبورتنت يعني حاجه مهمه جدا من ثمار اللي هو الصيام او الجهاد ان احنا الهيلينج او ان احنا نخف او بنحتاج الشفاء الشفاء ده بيجي من خلال سر مسحه المرضى انكشن سيك بس الفوكس كله على الشفاء الروحي اكتر من الشفاء الجسدي We have, uh, before we talk about our Lord Jesus Christ, what he did for us, what he gave us, what, what he took from us and we, what we give us, we want to just um, you know, see who is Jesus and he's a God or man. To, to understand what he did for us, we need to realize what he is exactly. So... We can read this. I'm going to give three examples or two examples because of the time. Um, the first example we just today, we celebrate in today is the Lazarus Saturday. So as you see here on the screen, uh, I'm going to uh, try to read, I'm going to read it and try to see where the phrases point that Jesus is God and, and there are phrases pointed as human. And this is the same situation. So I'm going to read it. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection. He's talking to Martha. I am the resurrection and life. He who believes in me, though he may die, he shall live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the son of God, who, is, who, who to come in the world. And then later he met uh, Mariam. So uh, I just jump it to the, when he was talking to Mariam. Therefore, when Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who came with her weeping, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled. Jesus wept. So I'll show you now. So we're going to go to the next slide and see. The ones in the red is talking about his divinity. This is not human can do that. He said, he said I'm resurrection and the life. No one can say that from a human. This is something that's God. Also, Christ, the son of God, we cannot say I'm Christ. No one human can do that. I said I'm son of God. So this is proofs in the same situation that he is God. The second and the third one is we're going to see he's human. And he groaned in the spirit and was troubled. God cannot do that. That's us human and trouble in the spirit. And Jesus wept. God doesn't weep. So that's human. So in this, we see he is God and human. Another example, this is, we celebrated this annunciation, um, related to the annunciation. Uh, we celebrated 10 days ago the annunciation, or uh, Eid al Bishara. The same verses you're gonna see. Bardo tried. I'm gonna read it. Try to find the words with it's just belonging to God and the word belonging to human, and see He is God and human. So Jesus said to her, "I am uh, sorry. Um, I move on. <laughs> I have different screen." Then the angel said to her, "It's talking to Saint Mary." 
Don't be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David, and he will uh, reign over the house of Jacob forever. For his kingdom, there will be uh, no end. And, and the angel answered, said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also the Holy One who is be born will be called the Son of God. So if we move to the following, we're going to see where it said God in red and human in, in, in blue. So when you say conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, that's purely human. And the, when, when the angel told her son of the highest, son of highest, son of God. So that belongs to God, that he is God. His father, David, so he's human. He will reign over the house of Jacob. He's human forever. No human cannot do that. So that's God. And his kingdom, there will be no end. So he's forever. So as you see here also, he is God and human. So I'm, I'm going to, because of the sake of time, I'm going to skip this to here. So our Lord Jesus Christ, he is fully God, fully human, 100%, both. He's unique. So he, he did this. He's 100% human, uh, God, and he's 100% human. So why he did that? Because he is, you're going to see him, why he took the flesh for, for human. Because he does this for us or our, on our behalf. Everything in his life, he does it for us or on our behalf. You're going to see that. So first in incarnation. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And behold, I'm not going to test you in this. It's the blue is flesh and dwelt among us. That's he is human. And behold, his glory, the glory as the only begotten of his father, full of grace and truth. That's God. San Cyril of Alexandria is saying the wound and the medication together. The patient and the doctor. What fell to death and it was risen newly to life. Who his life was taken away is the life forgiven. So he's talking about our Lord Jesus Christ. He took the wound, our body, and he is, has the medication. He's God. And he also, the patient, he's a body, and he is a doctor. So he can fix the problem. When he, through his death, he has risen with new life. That's why we say when our Lord Jesus Christ, after his death, he rest with the body of, uh, of resurrection, which you can go through the walls, like his body before he didn't do that, but he, he did this for us. He doesn't need to do that. So we're going to see also some other examples, everything he is, did it for us or on our behalf. The temptation. So Christ in his temptation, our Lord Jesus Christ was led by the spirit into the world to, to be tempted by the devil. He as a human, he's now going into temptation. Again, it's for us or on our behalf. We're going to see the first temptation. But he answered and said, it was written, he's the, he answering the devil. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. So... He is answering about temptation. What is temptation for? It's about what? It's about food, eating. Let's expand it. It's about lust and, and desire. So I have desire. So I, when I can say stop, stop, I, I can stop you. So it's about lust and desire. Actually, I want to say a story about this. It's actually, we read it last week. One of the saints, great saints in our church called St. Christopher. St. Christopher last weekend, when we talked about it, there was his face. It's not St. Christopher who held our Lord Jesus Christ. St. Christopher, uh, 
uh, another one he is the one he was marty he was one of the cannibals saint christopher the cannibals you know what the cannibals cannibals the, um, is they eating the human flesh they are very hungry they are very bloody people like vampire or something but that's <laughs> so those those kind of people they are very very uh, like hungry to the, the to, to eating flesh they are also have muscle and power it was like Goliath. the story said it's like a Goliath. they were beating him and um like uh when they beated him he started talking like he's beating badly uh the soldier he told them if not christ i'm i'm i'm, I'm following christ I would eat you. I would eat all of you. So they were backed off. I'm like shocked what he said. He said it from his heart that our Lord Jesus Christ through his temptation. And he said, no, the food, no, no to the sin, not, not as a desire. He also, by, by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, he said, no, he, he gave him the ability to do that. Again, our Lord Jesus Christ does everything on our behalf or for, or for us. When he went, we went. He went, we, we went through him. So he, he, he stopped himself from doing the bad thing. Sam Moses, the same thing. I, I want to extend also in his story. When he stood in front of the king, the, the, he, he sent him in the prison. He was afraid of him, by the way, King Decius. He was afraid of him. He sent two women to put him to to try to tempt him in sin. The following day in the morning, they were Christian believer and the, or the emperor ordered to be headed. See how the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, when he uh, over like give him over uh, give give us give the sins give us all of us the power to overcome the sin. The last. This is the first one. The second one, Jesus said to him, to the Satan again, it was written again, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. He's talking about the temptation of God. We cannot tempt our Lord Jesus Christ. Like, by the way, the Satan, in, in, he was liar. He was liar because he told him, you throw yourself from the, from the, from the altar. But the psalm, when he brought him the psalm, the, the psalm didn't say that. The psalm says, you are walking, and you, you, you uh, like there was a rock and you didn't see it and you fell. So you didn't do it intentionally. That was something, but God will protect you from, from falling. So, but the devil want to trick our Lord Jesus Christ. So this is the second thing he want for us. We don't test God. Don't test God. The last one, our Lord Jesus Christ, then, then Jesus said to him, away with you, Satan. Don't go away from me. For it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God and his only shall serve. This is about when he told him to worship him. Our Lord just, and, and he promised him, he gave him the, all the, the world. Uh, he said, this is the temptation about me, about the ego, about me. All is all about me. Jesus Christ, our Lord Jesus Christ refused that. He said, no, not me. Not me. It's God's will. I'm not going to worship you. I'm not going to follow you. This is actually the, like, um, uh, like uh, Solomon, the king, he said, um, and who rules the spirit is better than who takes a city. In, in Proverbs. Um, um, he's talking about controlling myself is harder than control a city. That's, that's our problem, by the way. My problem, the ego is in, in me, is like, wanna like take over everything. And you see it in the, in the kids, they wanna like do everything by himself. I'm, I'm, I, I. So, but that's why our Lord Jesus Christ controlled that and gave us the victory over this. Again, the Holy Bible is full of the truth and whatever our Lord Jesus Christ does for us, this is the truth. I'll tell, tell you a quick story about uh, it happened in the US. You know Ford, the car Ford. 
the guy who uh, did the, uh, the car uh, or the owner or the, who started this company called Ford, this guy, he uh, he's the inventor, not for the cars, the cars was before him, what's called the mass production. So he's he's the one started the mass production. Like he find different kind of cars, different models. He make the screw or, or the nut or whatever, every part, you can put it in multiple things to so get it cheaper. So everyone can buy a car. So in his factory, um, uh, he was building cars, Ford cars. One of the machinery make the, the part of, of the cars stopped working. He brought all the engineers and he's like, I need, we need to fix this. The whole line of cars stopped. What we can do? So he brought all engineers, whoever can bring it, and they stopped the work for almost a week and he's losing money. So he said, who invented this, uh, this, this machine? Yeah, he, he told him was an engineer. Yeah, who used to work in and retired several years ago. He said, okay, well, we have no choice. Can you bring him? And they brought this engineer and um, this engineer uh, to, um, to fix the machine. The engineer said, leave me. Half hour, the machine working and fixed. He asked him how, he went to his office and talked to him, how do you fix it? I fix it, I know, I am the inventor for it. Can you tell me what did you do? I told, I'll tell you. There was a screw and the screw was not on the right position. I just adjusted and everything working. He didn't change anything. He didn't change anything. He just put in the right position because he is the inventor because he's an inventor, he knows everything. And he actually asked him for 10, um, for big, big money, like $10,000, like millions now. And he has to pay him because he, he knows everything. So imagine our Lord Jesus Christ who created us. Imagine like this inventors, no one can know us better than him. When he do everything, he, do, he, he knows those are the things the three, tempt three temptation, uh, the most important three temptation tempt us, all of us. Um, our Lord Jesus Christ also, he struggled in Gethsemane. So he was, as a human, exceedingly sorrowful. Remember, he's human, he's a human and God together. But in the Gethsemane, he was like, he was representing us. He, he talked to his father three times and prayed, Abba, Father, all things are possible to you. Everything is possible to you. Take this cup away from me. He's talking to his father as representing us, all of us. He's saying, I don't want to get into temptation. Nevertheless, not what I will, but you will. He's talking to him, it's not about me, it's, it's your will, but just, just, um, it's your will. So he, if possible, to is uh, pass this cup from me. So again, he is, he is talking to his father as representing us. No one of us wants to get into temptation. Even our Lord Jesus Christ teaches us in the, in the Lord's prayer, don't, let, don't get into temptation, but the Hanash So he's, he's also, as a human, he doesn't want to get into the temptation. That's not him. That's for us. He's talking on our behalf. Three times. So when he, our Lord Jesus Christ struggled to get into temptation as this, actually, we're gonna, I'm going to talk some examples. This happened with them, this our, the saints and the martyrs. They struggled like him, but because of his winning, they won too. It was hard. It was hard for them. I'll give you example, Sam Felicity. Sam Felicity, uh, you know, maybe you heard about Sam Barbotwa. She's was here. Sam Barbotwa, she, they were, um, um, they actually, they were during the, uh, the time when they, 
when they wanna kill the martyrs, they put them in the um, you know you know in the arena, and and you see here uh, uh, ox or uh, or buffalo like hit them and they die or, or or cut their head, and after that they cut their head. So San Felicity, she was she was pregnant, and by the, uh, when they capture her in prison as a Christian, they wanna they cannot execute her by the Roman by the Roman law, they cannot execute pregnant women. So they have to keep her until she gives birth and they execute her. So she doesn't, she want to be martyr with Sam Barbotwa, her friend in the prison, and also all the, all the Christian saints with her. So she, they pray that God let her give birth early. So she go with them. And actually she, was, she did deliver in the prison when she, she eight months. She's eight months, and uh, the baby here in her womb for eight months. It was hard and tough situation and pay, very painful. There is no hospital, nothing, just prison. So the, one of the shoulder told her, you convinced me that you gonna, you gonna uh, like accept the pain from the martyrdom while you're crying because you, during your delivery of baby. So she answered him and said, she said, to, she told him, but there, there another shall be in me who sh shall suffer for me because I am suffer for him. She told him the natural feeling or the natural feeling because of delivery, it's, it's normal feeling. I am normal human, but the pain of the martyrdom, that's not me. That's him, that uh, my Lord Jesus Christ. He did it before me, so he's taking He's the one who helps me in this. Again, our Lord Jesus Christ, he's, he's, he's the one who passed through the pain, the struggle, the death to give us the power and the martyrs to, to, it, to overcome all of this. Also, Saint Philobatir Marcos, um, the martyr of Ahmim, I'm just talking about the saints in our church here. Um, they are victorious because of, because of this. The 21 martyrs of Libya, the contemporary martyrs, and the, recent, uh, uh, the martyrs from recent years. So uh, they, 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 they were tortured before um, the martyrdom. They, they did, uh, like, um, before they slaughtered them and take a video, they practiced multiple times, but without killing them. So all of this is like, it's not easy. Imagine like if I'm, I'm their situation, it's, it's not easy, it's painful. But how they went through this without shaking because our Lord Jesus Christ did it before. Because he went through it. No one can do it, like no one can go through this before he does it. He put example in every step. Again, he's doing for us, on our, on our behalf. We have also Abu Namin Abud, the same thing. They gunned him with, um, with bullets. Abu Nasim Anj Hata, who is a slaughter them in carrier, the brother of our uh, beloved um, uh, deacon um, uh, Nader. Also, recently, nine days ago, in Alexandria, they slaughtered uh, uh, Abu Arsanius Swadid. So all of the all of those martyrs, they went through the steps, or they follow the steps of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'll tell you something. For, for we we don't have to go through this. This we struggle every day in our life. We struggle in 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 in, in our jobs. We struggle in to be honest in my job. To be. Um, like people around me, they joking, they watching movies, they talking about movies. I don't watch because it's inappropriate. Um, our kids, when you go to, I know Fridays one of the hardest days in school because they have pizza Fridays and birthday Fridays with cupcakes and cakes, and you cannot eat them because you're fasting. Especially also if you have like uh, during the Great Lent, we have late letters on Fridays. You can't eat. You so it's this is. This is also past 
when we follow our Lord Jesus Christ, when he fasts and say, I'm not going to eat. تعليقاً بس بالعربي على شهداء ليبيا الأنبا رفائيل مرة أيام سمعت له كلمة عن الشهداء ليبيا قال لك قال لك تعبير كده قال لك الشهداء بتاع ليبيا دول إزاي وقفوا قدام السيف من غير ما يخافوا قال لك عشان هم مزيتين يعني مزيتين قال لك كل واحد فيهم بيصوم ما هم مزيتين إن الكلمة اللي بيقولها إحنا بنصوم بنصوم كتير بناكل بالزيت بناكل فول وفلافل ومش عارف كل أنواع كله بالزيت بالزيت فقال لك دول مزيتين دول المزيتين دول عشان هم بيقاوموا الاكل يقول لك انا مش هاكل انا هصوم انا هعمل كذا ما اعملش كذا بيقدر يقف قدام السيف يقول لا ما ده بيجي ترين بي بي بيتعود كلنا لما بنعمل كده بنتعود ازاي نقول للخطيه لا انا مش عايز كده انا مش عايز اعمل كده أبونا متى المسكين برضو regarding our Lord Jesus Christ representing us Father متى المسكين said something our Lord Jesus Christ he represented the mankind he he it was the lawyer and the prisoners in shackles so he represented us in front of God that's why he said something the son of man will be delivered he said it multiply son of man will be delivered why he said the son of man will be delivered because he representing the man the human in front of god and in front of judgment so and the the the, the time he got the delegation to do that when Adam, uh, when, he, when God talked to uh, Eve and told her, all what I put in, uh, uh, and I will put enmity between, uh, sorry, when talked to the serpent, I'll put enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed, and he shall birth your head. So our Lord, this is the delegation which happened in the beginning when God told um, the servant that the son of the woman will uh, will uh, burst your head. آخر حاجة عشان الوقت أتكلم عليها ومعلش مش باينة. This picture picture we saw it a lot. If you look to the right, there is word in Greek. It's actually a Coptic word. أنا معلش ال الكمبيوتر ما فيهوش ال Coptic عشان كده is not uh, clear. But this word is called Oh, Nymphios. And I, I looked for this word. What does it mean, O oh, Nymphios? I want to know what uh, this is unusual. We usually see Jesus Christ, Jesus uh, Christos, um, but this O oh, Nymphios, what does it mean, this word? And I looked and found it means the pride groom. And even after that, I went online. If you search it yourself, Jesus Christ, the bride room, you're going to find this picture online on Google. So uh, this picture was like, why is he put it, the bride room like this? Bride room, like when you imagine our Lord Jesus Christ, he's like wearing the white clothes and in heaven. Why is he put well, this picture like this? This picture, if, if you think about it, you imagine the people who married like me, Imagine you standing in the in front of the altar, and the, your your bridegroom because we, that's his bridegroom for our soul. He's standing next to us in this clothes. It's kind of fruit be kind of the best clothes ever. But remember something. This is how. This is what he did to be our bridegroom. This is what he did for the church. This is what he did for us. We should be proud of that, that he is our pride groom. And actually, I'll tell you something. Dr. Nahani Ashamala, he said one of the, his, um, uh, like one of his sermon hymns, he said, a pride groom paid the wedding gift and the wedding, and he proposed, I feel proposal, he proposed for us with life. I tell you something. This Friday, this Friday, this is 
my wedding and every one of us wedding spiritually because this is the time he proposed for us we, should, we need to remember this he proposed for us this the friday when he died on the cross and give us his life so we need to be this friday put this in, put that in our mind So quickly, uh, last thing, this is what pleases Jesus. We want to please him on this Friday. So during the week, we still have one, more, one week. We can try to do some things quickly. First, shut down the media. If we can, no TV, no Facebook, no news. Um, during the Basca prayers, just focus on the Christ on the cross. Just look at him. Think prayer. If you have work or you go to school, try to find some time during lunch, during the recess, and just read passage of the Bible. If, if, uh, if you have your phone, thank God we have Coptic reader, you can open the Basca book and read anything from it. Um, prophecy, uh, gospel, the same hour in the school or in the show. Um, offer any pain or difficulty. If you have any pain of, or difficulty in your life, you offer it in front of him and, and, be, and unite your suffering with the pain of Christ, also his suffering. Um, thank God for the salvation he did for us. Go to confession and make additional sacrifice. If you can do some fasting, more, uh, more fasting, abstracting from food, like till... I don't want to say any specific time, but you can talk to your father of confession about this. Make it a point to forgive someone. If you have anything between you and someone, you can forgive and talk to this person. Give alms to help the Lord, sister, and brother in needs. Uh, read the Holy Gospels. Usually in the church, uh, Peter, um, it, it, Monday, we usually read the book of Matthew. Uh, uh, Tuesday, the book of Mark, Wednesday, the book of Luke, and Thursday, the book of uh, John. If you can read as many, uh, or at home, you can, as a family, just spread, uh, split the whole book between you, that would be great. Last thing, invite family members, friends, neighbors, especially people who strayed from the church to come to church with you. Again, last thing, he took... He took what is ours and gave us what is his. We praise him and glorify him, exalt him our Lord. And glory be to God forever. Thank you, Amin.